All right, David, thank you. Now to a developing story out of McMinn County. Last month, we told you about the removal of fire trucks from the Union Grove Volunteer Fire Department. Tonight, a meeting was held to talk about a proposal for a new volunteer fire department to serve the area. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence was at that meeting and joins us now with that story. Hannah. Josh, Kim, those I talked to at the meeting tonight agreed that their safety is at stake if something's not done to fix their need for first responders. But what they can't agree on is what group they think the county should support to provide that emergency care. When the when call, they were there. I don't have to answer that question. I'm just... I want to know one thing is... A heated meeting tonight in McMinn County over who will give residents emergency help and how long it could possibly take. As far as we're concerned, Ray, excuse, me, excuse me, Ray. I think you already had your chance to talk. You know? Let's let the rest of the community speak with them. If approved by the McMinn County Commissioners, a new volunteer fire department called the North McMinn County Fire and Rescue Team would serve District 9. The controversy, if that happens, at that time, Union Grove will cease to exist. Some residents say their loyalty lies in that department, which is about 35 years old. The fire hall and, and the people, that the volunteers that have worked there, they have been more than outstanding that over the years. Union Grove people were asked, anybody that is qualified, you are welcome. Union Grove firefighters say they are qualified, but since their secretary, who's now facing felony charges, had been dishonest with funds and paperwork, they say they're having a hard time proving it. All of us went to training. We were all there with these other guys. We paid our money. Commissioner J.W. McPhail says the certifications aren't the only missing paperwork. He says the water utility company recently put locks on the fire hydrants because the correct paperwork was not being filled out through Union Grove to be able to use that water. And that's a problem because when fighting fire... You've got to have water. If approved, the new fire department would provide fire and emergency medical services. Would you say that the people around here are safe right now? In one word, no, but they're never, they haven't been. We need somebody over here. We need them immediately. McPhail told me that the matter will be voted on at the next McMinn County Commissioner's meeting on February 16th. So then what's next for Union Grove? Well, Union Grove right now is, uh, they say they plan to be at that commissioner's meeting, obviously, to voice their opinions. Uh, they said that they are also getting help from other fire departments right now to respond to those calls. Okay. Oh, that's good news. Anna, thank you.